Hello, this is Eileen, the environmental educator. Today is December 23rd, 2021. It's Christmas Eve Eve. So tonight, hopefully we're going to keep this a little short here. We're going to uh, call this man's office. We don't get to him directly, but uh, we're going to leave a message for a couple of the extensions there and, and thank them for their not doing their job for two and a half years, because in two days on Christmas, it will be two and a half years that Project Veritas has refused to expose that all environmental voices are preventing solutions frauds. And because of that, the world continues to have to listen to and be lectured to by these frauds. The world continues to be robbed of their donation dollars by these frauds. And now <clears throat> global tyranny is about to come raining down on us based on we don't have environmental solutions. So right now, we're just going to play a few short clips here of this man yapping and people honestly believing what this man has to say. So let's just get going. Why can't these people stand behind what they say? Why would you say something and not stand behind it? I wouldn't ever say something that I'm not willing to stand behind. No, no, never, 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 never except quite often. Okay, here's here's a little more here. There's only one truth, James. There's just reality. You can't change reality. You can't change the truth, either, right? It's real or it's not real. That's right. But unfortunately, lies live when they don't get exposed. And Project Veritas has lies living because they simply won't do their job and expose them. So now we're going to hear a little more. On this latest travesty, we just want them to tell the whole story. When it comes to serious reporting, omission of facts can be just as dangerous as outright lies. We here at Project Veritas believe in truth and telling the complete story. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. Except, except that's not true. And it's very sad, but it's true that that isn't true. So right here, what we're going to do is we're going to call a couple of the extensions here at Project Veritas, leave a few thank you messages, and then we're going to, oh, here we go, send an email. Thank you for calling Project Veritas with the mission of investigating and exposing corruption, fraud, and waste in order to achieve a more ethical and transparent society. For tips. Press 1. For the office of the president, press 2. For media, press 3. We're going to do all for three production, of those. press 4. For administration, press 5. For donor relations, press 6. For recruitment, press 7. For all other calls, press 0. Hmm. I wonder what administration is. But we're going to press 1 for tips here. Okay. Okay, so we pressed one for tips, and um, they don't tell please you who picks up. Please record your voice message at the tone. When you are finished, please hang up or touch pound for more options. Hey, Project Veritas, Ver verification, what I actually really call you. So this is Eileen, the environmental educator. You're well aware of who I am. You know, I thought for you guys' in-house Christmas party today, you could um, celebrate that in two days on Christmas, it will be two and a half years that Project Veritas has refused to tell the world the one environmental truth that there is out there, that all environmental voices are preventing solutions frauds. And because of it, the world continues to be lectured to by these frauds. These frauds continue to rob the public of their donation dollars. And now... Tyranny is about to rain down on the world based upon we don't have environmental solutions, all because Project Veritas just won't do their job. So I just want to make sure that, you know, when you guys are celebrating today your end of year hard work party and your in-house celebration that everybody remembers and just cheerleads how proud you are to censor this one global truth the world needs to know. And do us a favor, 
record it. Somebody from the inside record it. And then get the get the tape and the video to me. And then I can use that in court. <laughs> yeah, you know. Or, you know, you could just do your job. But the odds of that happening are about um, as good as the odds that Gore and Greta and McKibben and everybody else are just going to finally actually stop screaming for solutions and give the world the solutions they need. So I'm going to go call you president now. But this is on my video tonight. And please, please be sure to, at your in house Christmas party today, celebrate what you haven't done for the world. Okay. I pressed two for the president. I don't ever remember getting music before. Okay. Please record your voice message at the tone. This is when two you are for the finished, president. Or touch tone for more options. Hey, Project Veritas Verification President. This is Eileen, the environmental educator. Um, I didn't want to forget you just before Christmas. I'm making my last little video here. And it's about, you know, in two days, Project Verification will have its two and a half year anniversary of refusing to do its job and expose that all environmental voices are preventing solutions frauds. And because of that, for the last two and a half years, the world has had to suffer through listening to these frauds lecture us, and the world has been robbed of their donation dollars, and now tyranny is about to rain down on the world based upon we don't have environmental solutions, and you know that you could prevent all of those, but you're so proud not to. So I just told you tips line to... um. You know, when you have your little in-house Christmas party today, I used to have a real job. I know how the office parties go. Everybody's going to be just all having in-house parties today. And be sure to celebrate that you refuse to be everything O'Keefe says you are. You refuse to do for the world the biggest favor it needs environmentally and give the world the one environmental truth that there is. So. And I just asked your tips line, you know, somebody, please, from the inside, tape it so that, and get it to me so that I can get to the world what actually goes on in Project Veritas' office. And I can present that to the judge, too. It's not that we don't already know what goes on there, but, you know, you certainly know how nice it is to have it on tape. For people to see because then they really believe it because right now people actually believe what James O'Keefe says and yet not much if any uh, of what O'Keefe says it, it really has substance and he and, and value because he, he he doesn't stand behind what he says he he does say things that he doesn't stand behind and doesn't do. So I'm going to go call your media department now, but I just wanted to remind you, congratulations. It has been two and a half years that the world has been suffering because Project Veritas is just so cool that doing your job is just out of your league. Okay. Okay. So we just pressed three for media. Remember the media guy was the guy that told us that we have to be very please concerned about medical tyranny. Pound. When you are finished, please hang up or touch pound for more options. Hey, Project Veritas Verification Media. This is Eileen, the environmental educator. You are well aware of who I am. Um, I, I just called your tips line and your president's line. I'm recording this as part of a video tonight. And I just wanted to, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for two and a half years of not doing your job, refusing to expose that all environmental voices are preventing solutions frauds. Because of it, the world has had to be lectured to by these frauds. The world continues to be robbed blind by these frauds of their donation dollars. And now the tyranny that your media director in an interview with Alex Jones says, you know, we have to save America from is is about to be rained down on us 
based on we don't have environmental solutions when Project Veritas knows that this is all a lie and that they just won't do their job and expose it because, because fill in the blank. Oh, that's right. I, I constantly ask you to get O'Keefe to call me, to get someone to call me and tell me exactly why that is. The only thing I have is a statement from legal that says, you know, if we decide to explore this, journalists don't excite, decide to explore truth when it gets put on their desk. They get on the story. So especially when you are as opposed to um, America being subject to tyranny, and we have to, as your media director said, Mario, B-A-L-B-A-B-A-N, it said, um, you know, we have to save America from this, yet you won't. So I just told you tips line and your president, you know, when you're having your little in-house parties today, be sure to celebrate how proud everybody at Project Veritas is to subject the world to this because you just won't do your jobs. And especially the upcoming tyranny that is going to rain down on us because, God forbid, Project Veritas do its job or James O'Keefe be anything of what he says he is. But um. You know, it's always a new year. I'm going to send you an email right now. And um, you maybe uh, your new executive director and development director will get project verification on the right path. And as always, I tell you to make sure that before they walk in the door, that they know what they're really walking into. Because right now, I'm sure they believe all, all the hype they hear, just like just like everybody else does. And, you know, behind the scenes, we know that's not true. So it's been two and a half years and the world suffers because project verification just won't do its job. So I just wanted to uh, make that call. I'm going to wrap up this video here, send you an email. So please get, get somebody from within your organization to wear a camera and then just get me the recordings of it, of everybody being so proud to not do your job. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Okay. So that's that. And right now we're just going to come here and we are going to, this is the email to Project Veritas Tips, Legal, and Action. And I remind them it's, you know, 2.5 years that they've censored the one environmental truth there is and do their job. Their new executive and development director maybe will get them to, which they won't because even if they wanted to, they'd be overruled by everybody who's there who just won't do their job. But um, I, I do let Project Veritas know that these people, before they walk in the door, they should know really what they're getting into and it's not the hype that Project Veritas spews out there. So um, this is just um, a short little blurb here. Once again, Project Veritas and James O'Keefe, absolutely nothing of what they say they are. So there we go. Sending that in real time right there. So have um, nice holidays here, people. Nice Christmas Eve, Christmas. and. Stay tuned. This is real, and this is the one environmental truth the world needs to know, and no one else will tell you this, and I'm the only person who knows it.